Hey, what is up everybody? It's Matt here with Mikey Designs. It is 7 o'clock Canadian time. No. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on here. I don't know why, but I'm like looking at the live streaming thing and it's saying, an error occurred. Please try again later. What is that it's supposed to mean? Now is later. It is. <clears throat> However, I don't, uh, I'm not even sure that we're live at the moment. It's just saying an error occurred, which is pretty much on par. All right. Well, somebody tunes in here for soon. I'm going to, uh, Start this and do it over. Okay, sorry about that. I don't know. <laughs> For some reason our, on our end, it was saying um, the try again later on the back end of YouTube. I, I don't know what the deal is, but um, 315 Racing. No, you're you're not late. Uh, hopefully, you're still tuned in or, or coming back. Uh, like we were saying, it's seven oh three Canada time. Hi, Jason. What's up, Jason? Having a little, couple little bugs here. So par for the course for us. Yeah. Well, it's not just for us. It's just do doing these these live streams. They're not easy getting things to, to work right all the time. And it doesn't help that I just installed a new operating system. Maybe I should have waited until after today. However, it is what it is. My computer's so. too old. And it's really kind of too bad because it's a really, really, really nice computer. But it's too old to have new operating systems. Yeah, I think the furthest... Yours goes is El Capitan. We're on Max, and then Shannon's is kind of a 2009 model, which is a great computer. We bargained uh, you know, for it from his old office. Yeah, the El Cap the Capitan or whatever it is. Capitan. It's a pretty good, solid operating system. I feel like the more they update a lot of this stuff, it just... there's There's always some sort of bugs. However, I hope everybody's week has been going well, or their, their weekend went well, <laughs> their last week. Yeah, it's funny because I'm curious as how everybody's week has went, and I'm like, I hope it's going well, type of thing. But hopefully everybody's Monday has gone well, and then everybody's weekend was awesome, and hopefully everybody got lots of jobs and work done. New clients, perhaps. Jason N says my MacBook is having trouble installing the drivers for my Roland 24-inch cutter. Well, that sucks. You know, I we're having some, or at least I was having some issues with the the graph tech that we have. I mean, it plots just fine, but every time we go to plot something out, it keeps telling me that. It says to update it. And then when I try to update it, the operating system says that the software is not a trusted or recognized software. So I think they have to update it on their end. So I'm not sure if you're having the same problems, but it's probably the added security that Macintoshes are, are building into their operating system. So I feel you on that. I feel you because I was trying to update my stuff and it just wouldn't update. Are you trying to, are you catching a bug over there? I Shannon? am actually trying to, yes, but I, was, I wasn't doing it very low. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to be quiet. It's not like it. you're snapping your fingers over there. Yeah, no, it, it was like a slow clap. And if so, of course, the bug got away. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hope you get that figured out, Jason. Um, I don't know. I, I'd contact them, see if they can't help you out. If not, I don't know what how um how old's your computer and what operating system are you using? I'm sure if it's 
one of the more recent ones is, is probably uh, an issue of them just needing to update their software on the back end, kind of like with our deal. I mean, the driver is working fine. I mean, you can go to your operating system and then click add printer. You should be able to add your, your Roland as a, a printer in your print key. We should find it and then download whatever cutting software it comes with the, the Roland. Well, his only it might help. His only extra comment is just three angry gumdrops. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, yeah, they look like gumdrops. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna switch this over so we're no longer looking at this uh little screen that we normally Kind of put it on, waiting for you guys to kind of tune in. And then we'll just talk about some of the things that uh, are going on, on around the shop and see what's going on around y'all's. And if you know, have any questions. Isn't that right, Shannon? Yo! Shannon. Sorry, Shannon. <laughs> Hi, TWTC Video Photography. <laughs> that's, a, that's a mouthful. <laughs> it is. Hey, what's up, everybody? Matt with Micah Designs here. If you're new to our show, we go live every Monday and we talk about screen printing. Kind of where we're at. We like to hear back from you guys as well. What's going on with, with your shop. And we got Shannon across the room. Even though she doesn't like to be on camera, she's still here. Yo! And we all converse and have a good old time. Talk mm -hmm. about screen printing or heat pressing. In this case, Jason sounds like he's having some issues with his drivers for his plotter wish we could help out i i really know what to tell you aside from what i gave you <laughs> we're having some technical difficulties ourselves so it was funny okay so jason um because uproar goes ew mac and so jason goes shut up roar <laughs> <laughs> it, and it just goes hand in hand with the <laughs> And TWTC Video Photography says uh, that Matt helps me teach my high school students. Oh, cool. Um, I, I don't want you to necessarily toss your name out there. Uh, there. There's been some teachers that have watched our videos that, and th these videos have been helpful. A, a lot of what what we do here is just kind of teaching the process we're, we're trying to uh, trying to dive more into kind of the business and kind of helping those out that are starting out kind of sharing our story a little bit and, and what we know but that's awesome that's cool it's it's always nice to hear that the channel has helped you a, a learn p those of you out there learn and then also be able to the reteach the process so that's really cool. Okay, first. That's awesome. Hi, Liberty Graphic Designs. And hey, I what's promised, up, Liberty? speaking of the videos and, and um, learning from them, I promise I give out a shout to Mr. Jackson. <laughs> because what's up, Mr. Jackson? I got a call from him today, and um, he was like, is this the shop gnome? I was like, yes, it's the shop gnome. Yay, someone <laughs> knows me. Uh, he called like for an emergency embroidery thing that we unfortunately weren't able to help him <laughs> right. out with. But I promised him I'd give him a shout out on tonight's, uh, <clears throat> tonight's thing. So, yeah, I wish we could have helped out. Yeah, I, I, I overheard the, the phone conversation, at least Shannon's, and, and wish we could have helped. We just got a lot on our plates, and um, we just couldn't squeeze it in because we've uh, we're over squeezing stuff in at this point. We're out of job tickets. And we, yeah, job tickets. I need the job, the job tickets, even so much a deal as much as it is just kind of a lot of last minute things coming up. Uh, we got an order that just came in. They were originally wanting it by Friday. 500 shirts, six color front, um, print flash print on the back. Pretty big deal for us guys that are. A manual shop so our our buddy harry who has the the rock automatic i got a hold of him and said just told him said hey we need we need your, need your help with this and what what will you charge to let us come in your shop and use your automatic speaking of automatics so um oh we're just jumping right in yeah there, huh? we, we might as well because we generally jump in at 
a time that's a little too late, don't you think? But we'll we'll just dive into it real quick. So one of the things we've been tossing around is getting an automatic. There's lots of benefits, and I only see it it benefiting the business. However, it's a pretty big expense. And then so some of the things we have to consider is uh, we, we can fit one into our space. However, there's not the the power requirements and to get the requirements for the the compressor, the flash, we would have to have an electrician come in. And I, I think they quoted us at about around $10,000. And so you start talking about either a used automatic plus the uh, having an electrician come in and install that. So I, I've been racking my brain and, and telling Shannon, I'm like, hey, you know, we're busy and having a hard time keeping up with it. It's difficult on on me for one, but however, I only see it being able to quadruple, if not more, project production wise. I, I see nothing but benefits from it aside from it's a lot of money. He says tossing around, but um, <laughs> I'm already looking at this guy and ship. This ship has sailed. <laughs> it's going to happen. Uh, not he says so tossing much. around, but I'm just like, well. Yeah. Not so much. All right. Well, Be I have my own terms and conditions. <laughs> yeah. Not, not, I mean, it's not concrete, but it's coming up to the time where it's like we either need to just go automated with the amount of work that we get or turn down some work and or hire hire uh get get panda in here to learn the process and print so that way i can handle a lot of the artwork stuff and the separations and get him on the manual press out there printing and it might be a combination of things doing do an automatic thing and there's the the contract screen printers that have reached out to us that I I only see it all being benefits. It's just God, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. First, hi That's Barry. A lot of cash. Oh, and uh, Jason wants to know if we're set on the model that we want. No, we're not because money is is where it's at, really. I don't want to spend a lot of money on an automatic. A new one would be great. I've thought about the the workhorse Freedom Express, although a, a lot of the people um, that have automatics they M and R. There's like M and R this, M and R that. I get it. M and R is really great. However, they're expensive. Even a used one. I've been looking at some some used ones too. Just and I want to be able to have six colors at least. But with the way M and R is set up, if you want six colors, you need a a press that has ten stations and eight color stations, or, or a couple of those stations would be reserved for uh, one or two flashes. So I don't know what what do you guys think? What are some of your opinions? I know a lot of us here are manual screen printers. If any of you guys out there have automatic presses. Let us know your opinions. Well, isn't Liberty what your getting experience? one? Or Inksational? Not Liberty. Inksational, didn't she get one? I think she was getting a, a manual press. Oh, was she? Yeah, oh, I think okay. she was getting a, a manual press. I could be wrong. I could be wrong. <laughs> However, either way is cool. Either way is really cool. Just trying to play our, our own hand of cards and figure out here's here's our budget and then... How do we make that best work to our advantage so we can kind of grow things? I don't want to jump into a whole lot of debt too quickly. Hmm. However, <laughs> Shannon Shannon gave me the, the huh because um, getting in the here was was one pretty big. It the the loan that we got was pretty sizable, although it it. Took us 
No, nah, it, it didn't even take, uh, I'll, I'll say about six, seven months paid off. However, um, you know, we, we don't want to over, overdo it too quickly. But, but I see nothing but positives, Shannon. I see nothing but positives, America. <clears throat> Excuse me, <laughs> you guys out there. <laughs> So, anyways, Liberty says he just. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> it's been really it's dusty. That, it's <clears throat> that food. We just we no. Just it's had been a, the change a big in the plate air. Of, a nachos. Right you had a big plate on. of nachos. I had two. Okay, I did. <laughs> she, I ate most of it. <laughs> New and different. Uh, Liberty says he just got an M and R used auto, and he's having fun finding a compressor for it. The electrical, I can you myself, but the compressor. Uh, it is keeping me on my toes because I don't want to get a three phase. Yeah. And see, so that's one of the things that, that, um, we're dealing with is it, to me, it sounds like, let me take a look at that. Matt, I just got an M and R use auto. What, uh, what model did you get Liberty? And, and what, what is your name? By the way, I, I see I think it's one. your, your, uh, your channel and everything, but I don't, these days, I don't have a whole lot of time to to watch a whole lot of videos. Tend to post them more than I do watch them, but I keep an eye on what everybody's doing. He's like that guy that um, torrents <laughs> but never seeds. <laughs> <laughs> no, like Liberty, he had a uh, he just turned over a thousand Told subscribers. You, Juan. Juan, okay, but I, I know he turned over a thousand subscribers, and I, I see a lot of the tutorials that he does and his shop. So it's cool. Okay, 96 model, and how many colors is it, if you don't mind me asking? So, um, compressor-wise, I mean, I know that the, the models we've been looking into, or I've, I've been looking into, I mean, new, as far as it goes, new, um, I've kind of been looking at the Freedom Express just because it seems like an affordable press. The, the flashback and allowing it to still have the six colors. Um, and it, it will be able to use the, the the manual frames. And you can get 20 by 28 frames to do an even bigger image. We generally don't do anything over 15, 16 inches. So it, I think that'll work fine. However, I don't, I don't know if that's um, going to hold us back any going with that particular press I, I think it's great for an entry level but a, a lot of people are telling me they're like go m and r and the, the m and r is new they're they're expensive um and then the used ones i don't know part of me is kind of like okay i buy a used press i don't know how well they've maintained it uh we'd have to get a tech to come out and set it up and um who knows? I mean, there might be some parts that need to be replaced. They're solid machines from what I'm, I'm understanding, but as, as far as our budget goes, it's not going to be anything in the, the 20 teens, that's for sure. It'd be in early 2000s, late 90s. So you'll have to keep us updated, Juan. Um, I haven't been over to your channel here this past week, but do some videos. I'd like to, to check that out. First off, hi, Anxational. I was telling Matt about like uh, talking to you on Instagram. Um, oh yeah. But Liber uh, Juan says he got um, it's an eight by ten. It's a ninety six model eight by ten, and he got it for forty seven hundred with a cruiser included. What's a cruiser? A uh, cruiser is a, a, a manual six color four station M and R press. Oh. Forty forty seven hundred. Mm -hmm. You got the I got a cruiser for forty seven hundred included got it so you got the the automatic for 4700 as well you were one of his t-shirt winners i was one of your t-shirt winners what hold on let me hit you up my address so you can send me whatever <laughs> what, did, what did we win <laughs> what did we win <laughs> <laughs> Can I have it? Hi, Crawley. Here, I'm gonna put her address in here. I don't know what we want, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, <laughs> or did but, we like get like? Did we award him something and forget? <laughs> no, he, he said we were a winner. 
a shirt. Okay. Well, I'm putting the address in there now. I'm sorry. I just haven't been keeping up with it. I'll, I'll watch everybody's videos. I can only watch because there's so many people to, to keep up with. I can't watch every single video. So um, that's cool. We'll, we'll swing you a t-shirt your way too. Uh, send us your address and we'll we'll send you a shop gnome shirt. Oi. So <laughs> don't be the give it a, don't be giving away for that for the count. <laughs> uh, okay, Shannon says I can't just no, give you. No, that's not what I'm saying. Can't we, give we, you will. A we will. We will. That's not uh, make me the bad guy. <laughs> 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 no, we will. We will. <laughs> we're we're busy now or like at this point right now, so I I'm not going to promise that you'll see it in like 3 or 4 days. Give us a month. <laughs> If you're lucky. That's where we're at. That's, God. That's why, um, that's why I'm like, Shannon, the auto. Either that or, or someone that, that knows how to pick up the screen printing part in the shop. Because that's that's where we're most behind is the production. And it sounds like he's like exaggerating when he says, Shannon, the auto. He's not. Really every day. We'll be at we'll be out there we're like a couple hours in, and he's like and he looks at me and goes, you know, if we had an automatic, we'd be done by now. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. subtle. And she's, <laughs> we're, we're a couple, two or three hours into the job. And then we've got another four or five to go. And I'm like, you know, if we had an automatic, we'd be finished by now. Yeah, he mentions that a lot now. <laughs> I, I've, that's always kind of ran through my mind is the fact that as, as a great and inexpensive as manual startup is when you kind of realize the how much less energy you're going to be using how much quicker you can get things done like say for example when we were doing that order that was a thousand shirts we went hard for i say a good eight hours or so if even that oh doing I the 500 shirts you remember are you talking about the thousand print? Yeah, yeah, the thousand. We did five hundred of them in one day. Yeah, it was two a.m. by the end of it, and um, right, it was a. You made a great video out of it, though. And the, the, the next day, the next day, though, I was just beat. Like I, I didn't want to print anything because I was just exhausted. What were you gonna say? <laughs> I'm sorry, like because I actually stopped listening for a second because Liberty. Check this shit out. He got the M and R Auto, the Cruiser, two flash dryers, and a drying rack for that price. What? <laughs> Who was this? Were they just wanting to get rid of it? That's uh, that's insane. So uh, um, that's why I stopped listening to what you were saying. I was like, yeah. what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Uh, Jason N says I'd I'd love a rock. Not a Ryanette fan, but that press is great, as you know. I, it's great. I the the presses are are pretty amazing. We actually have an order, and I, I think we just talked about this. We we have an order of five hundred shirts that was, uh, okay. So this order, we've been kind of going back and forth with them, and they were saying Friday. However, I I think early next week they're cool with it because their people will be coming back for the shirt. So it's six color front and back. Um, we're going to go over to Harry's shop. He has the the Rock Automatic. It's a really great press. It's it's very expensive. Um, and I I plan on doing a vlog of us going in there and going into shop and and using the automatic. So keep an eye out for that. It's a cool press, and um, only gonna Harry, use it for half, though. Harry showed me the. Um, no, I think we just need to use. It. Uh, we'll we'll work something out with Harry. Okay. But we'll do we'll do all shirt the six colors on the front, one color on the. Uh, well, it'd be technically be two colors because we have to do the base, flash it, and then print the white again. So it'll be a, a two color back. Um. But yeah, I, I've done some jobs off of it, and that that rock is a, a great machine. However, I I can't necessarily say that. I don't know. All, all things considered, there's a lot of great presses out there. 
to me the one that i i fancy are the the m and r but the the rocks definitely right up there i don't know um <laughs> they're expensive i can't even <laughs> i can't even play like oh yeah i'm i'm entertaining the idea of buying a brand new rock or a brand new m and r that'd be fun to break just them. <laughs> just because they're i know what harry paid for his and it was a lot there's a a lot of people that don't have houses that cost as much as that equipment so let's just say that uh, I I think the um, I think Ryanette is cool. Don't get me wrong. I, I know I I rep Catspit. Love Jonathan over at Catspit, and I, I've learned a lot from him. And Ryan's a really cool guy. I know they they're a company. They're they're selling screen printing equipment, so of course they're going to be salesy. But he's he's a cool guy as well. I I don't have any. One of the, the things that it's kind of like people tend to swing one way or the other, the Ryanet versus uh cat spit or whatever the, the case may be. But I, I think every, I think Ryan's cool. Jonathan's really cool. I have yet to meet Jonathan in person. I've met uh, Ryan twice and, and he's cool. I just, um, you know, money doesn't grow on trees. So, uh, I I can't just be like, oh yeah, that's fantastic. Let me buy up this rock. Let me buy up this M and R. Let me buy <laughs> just buy whatever because um, it's just man, the, the automatics are expensive. So I don't know. We're we're, we're figuring it out. We're figuring it out. We're y'all can watch us make our decisions. I'll definitely vlog about it <laughs> and see where where we go with everything. Because I mean, you've seen us in the garage. You see us here at the shop. Now it's some of the things we have to consider getting an automatic. Is is this space enough for it? Ten thousand dollars to to set up the electricity. Do we just need to find another space and move out of here? If we get an, an automatic, we go automatic. Or are we going to go use? What can we afford use? <laughs> this is like all these things. And so it's, uh, I've been thinking about it for, for quite some time and trying to figure out a game plan. If, if nothing else, I think we'll just, um, you know, we're, we're not in a bad spot to continue to do things manually, but it just night. would be, <laughs> We we just don't have a whole lot of time to ourselves doing things manually. And at night, seriously, as I sleep, he just whispers into my ear, you want an automatic. <laughs> automatic. We're going to get an automatic. <laughs> what flavor of automatic would you like, though? Do you want it to be green? Do you want it to be blue? Well, or do you want it to be black? Blue's my favorite color. Well, M and R then. So there you go, guys. Hi, JP. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't whisper anything in her ear. I just plant little seeds in her head. That's like, hey, you know what? If we were finished, uh, or if we had an automatic, we'd be finished. Hey, you see this job here? We wouldn't. We wouldn't shriek at that. That five hundred. Shirt order because it would take us maybe three or four hours to do. Now we're stuck working on it for 18 hours. <laughs> I wouldn't say so much as planting seeds in my head. is a, a lot of hints of uh, that I just look at it and go, well, it's going that way, isn't it? <laughs> Which isn't a bad thing. I'm not saying it's know? a bad thing, but it's like not so to... much seeds. It's just I can see the direction that you're taking and you're the captain and um full speed ahead i guess i'm i'm the quarterback and um i'm the water boy <laughs> <laughs> you're definitely not the, you're not the that's water that's the only boy. other position i know on a football team okay <laughs> the water boy what do you mean we well, got the linebacker they got the wide receivers we got the center i don't know what any of those you do have, you, you're you would be the center because you're talking what's the center do they, they're the ones that snap the ball. They snap the ball. What's they're, snapping the ball? 
<laughs> They're the one that has the ball at the line of scrimmage. And What's then... scrimmage line? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, like, yeah this, is, this is a terrible analogy. I'm just going to go with the water um, boy. <laughs> I know what they do. You're... I, I keep I'm the, you hydrated? I'm the steering wheel and you're the gas pedal of the car, maybe. I don't know. That was a stupid analogy, too. I'm <laughs> God, that was stupid. I've got nothing else. I'm... I'm I don't know. Like I'm, <laughs> the the um not firing on all all cylinders right now. We it's already been a long day and then we ate. <laughs> and then after you you eat or at least for me I I there's that like that little moment where I'm a little sleepy but um however uh and, and then just thinking about things we, I've called I even called people up today I'm like hey how much would it cost for this space how much would it cost for this space do you have any spaces available and I don't know my brain's fried it really is well Liberty first said I was a smart woman and then he retracted his statement I guess over the conversation about what the hell a football team does <laughs> and um uh Abdel Roman wants to know why he never sees the woman. <laughs> you never see the woman because... Because I'm a mysterious shadow figure. I'm a unicorn. She doesn't want to be on camera. She doesn't want to be immortalized aside from her voice. Not that I'm immortalizing myself or anything or that we are. She just doesn't want to be on camera. That's all. And I'm going to respect that. Although that doesn't mean that I can't like pick pick at her or poke fun because she doesn't want to be on camera. She didn't mind the audio part, but she <laughs> she doesn't want to be on camera. Well, it's not I'm so like, much I Come don't. I, it's not so much I don't mind the audio part. I go back and I listen to the stuff and I cringe. But um, at what the it, audio? It, it was just it. Yeah, but it was just so annoying the first time when I just wanted to be like, say this. <laughs> yeah. I'm like smacking him in the leg. I'm like crawling underneath his desk and going, "Say this, smack, 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 smack." <laughs> <laughs> and the next one, he was like, "You're just, you're getting on. That's all." Yeah, so that's sorry, what... <laughs> dude. Sorry, uh, Abdiel Roman. I hope I said that that right. Why well, never see the the woman? She just doesn't want to be on there. And besides, that and, it adds to my air of mystery. This is um, just something, you know. It, it's. Hi, GM. <laughs> Sorry. She, she, uh, as far as the the live goes, she wanted to be part of it because she has a lot of input when it comes to what goes on around here. Cause she's very smart, very knowledgeable, and to to get her on, j just having her uh, having a microphone, her being part of it, I think's really cool. Don't get me wrong; I'm going to continue to pressure her. They yeah. get on camera and be part of it's things. It's like a never-ending so. theme on these lives. We talk about this. <laughs> Everyone can just like you know. Well, it sometimes and move on. Shannon, you just <laughs> gotta, you just gotta go for it. Just go for it. Just get on camera. No. Well, I'll I'll ease you into it because I'll just get you a little here, a little there on on uh, vlogs or or videos. Anyway, so it'll be the top of your head, and then we can make the way down. It could be like. Some uh, AOL 56K dial-up stuff where it's just like, you got the top of your head, and then it's the eyes, and then your nose. Anyway, so we've no. been talking about the automatics <laughs> uh, for a bit here. And if anyone has any questions about anything general, because we've been, I think we were talking about our subject first so that we wouldn't go over this time. Right, yeah. So if anyone's got questions, comments, concerns, news. This is true. Uh, we'd love to hear it. Yeah, certainly. Y'all just let it. You guys let us know. Uh, Liberty. Well, we got some some news from Liberty. Jason, come on, man. Oh, what, he's, what he needs to make on? special screens, special wood screens. Uh, Jason does. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. What's the uh, what's the occasion that the the wood screens? What are they for? It's like we're waiting to hear back. From there, there's like definitely silent. there's definitely like a minute delay between <laughs> what's actually being streamed and what you guys are hearing. So I wouldn't exactly call it live. 
we can make Shannon the the next week's topic. You know so what? Liberty. <laughs> I'm I'm real okay with not. We uh, don't need to talk about me that much. Let's talk about screen printing. JP US Robotics 56K. <laughs> uh abdiel roman i hope i'm saying that right i'm glad that you get it sorry if if shannon uh not getting on might seem a little strange but uh <laughs> everybody like the the regulars are used to it <laughs> yeah she's she's generally a, a topic for the uh some shows we'll talk about it for quite a bit, trying to get her on and whatnot. I guarantee you, though, that the day that it never she makes does, me uncomfortable. yeah, the the day that she does decide to get on, she's like full blown, just okay with it. I'm gonna do an announcement, and I I guarantee you, it, um, a, a lot of our regulars that have not seen her will definitely chime in. <laughs> Shannon. Anyways, so until we hear back from... We're not going to get millions of views, but I mean, I, I think at least 25 people would tune in. <laughs> Anyways. Any more questions? <laughs> no, and I'm flustered. Um, um, I had something to say. Okay, well, let's go back and take a look at the chat. Well, Jason hasn't... Um, <laughs> the transition Victor per, um, Peralta hello my name is Victor I have a question anybody knows a good laser printer to make the films and make the film very dark I need a laser because I make super small details and inkjet can't print well um a laser printer <laughs> Barry J you want to talk about that Three ninety nine. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but okay. Is that a reference to Reyes? <laughs> I don't. I don't know what that means, but I know he talks about that. that oh, I just saw that. Let's 99. make Reyes next week's topic. Oh, Jesus Christ! <laughs> that free ninety nine. <laughs> you know, um, I, I'm, I can't, I can't say anything about Reyes because he's got it going on, man. He's got a lot of subscribers, and he's doing his thing. I'm a little jelly, the amount of subscribers he's getting, but uh, he deserves it. He's putting the work out there, and his stuff's catching on, however. Okay, so, sorry, Victor. Um, I'm not, I couldn't direct you towards any laser printers. I do know you can use vellum with those laser printers. I'm not sure about film. We've been using uh, inkjet printers, and if if you're wanting to get some really great details there's nothing wrong with an inkjet printer but the key is and it, it the laser or, or inkjet it doesn't really matter because we can get some really dense opaque pieces of film we can get the the uh, lpi really really high uh, what you're going to have a, a problem with is actually holding those half tone dots and if you have a multi uh, light source like a multi-bulb fluorescence or LED exposure unit then here here's your dot essentially hold on I'm looking at the let me put this on the 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 bigger cut here but if if here's your your dot and you got a light source pointing from all these angles and then here's your screen What's going to happen is it's going to undercut that dot. What you need is a single point, like a metal hell, a metal halide, jeez, metal halide uh, exposure unit, and so it's a single point uh, exposure unit, and that's going to just shoot the, the light straight up. So that way, with your dot, it's just it's going to expose those dots properly. Like for us, the the uh one uh, zero to the five percent dots it's hard for us to hold those with uh the the multi uh bulb exposure units so i wouldn't say that it's a laser printer i'd say that it's either rip software and or your films aren't dense enough which our inkjet printer gets them really dense and then what kind of exposure you know you're using well, and you can cut all that out. Sorry, Shannon, I didn't mean to cut fine. you off. But you can cut all that out. I mean, there's 
Well, it depends on <laughs> what size your shop is. I mean, they have machines that that are are direct to screen that print the uh, the image directly to the screen, and then you expose it. Some of them uh, print it and expose it at the same time. So there you have it. Imagination Apparel, by the way, hi, uh, a laser printer with ultra black, all caps, will allow printing of positives. And now this is all caps and I'm trying to figure out if they're yelling at me. Uh, the ultra black expands the print ink molecules. Oh, cool. I, I haven't really looked into the laser printer deal just because we've been using, I know it's a lot faster than the inkjet, but um have yet to dive into that because laser printers are are more expensive and we're kind of uh we're always doing stuff on a budget <laughs> and, and yet we're <laughs> contemplating the automatic um yeah. so. well i mean that that's other things that will upgrade in the future but right, i mean right, you gotta right. take it you gotta take it in baby steps and jp wants to know if anyone has experience with limcom uh, exposure units Lincoln? Yeah. Lim uh, with an M. Lim? Okay. No, I, I don't. I don't I don't even know what that means to be honest. Lincoln. Lincoln. He just edited it again, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Lincoln, is that I take it that's a manufacturer? I I don't. I don't I'm not even sure who they are. To be honest. Um I mean if they all do the same thing. It, it's um, you're welcome, Victor. Uh, hopefully that helps out a little bit, uh, or, or I don't know if he was talking to the guys, but uh, that's about what I know. I, I'm. <laughs> <laughs> well, you can't type, and and uh, sometimes it's a hard time. We have a hard time kind of um, talking over here, so I we get it. Um, no, I, I've never heard of of Lincoln. To be honest, it's um, a brand I'm not familiar with. There's quite a few that I am familiar with. I just haven't come across them. Shannon, what are some of the brands of screen printing manufacturers that you know of? <laughs> it is quiz time. Go. The ones you were talking about earlier. Oh, no. <laughs> Okay, so so who do, who does Cat Spit sell? What what manufacturer is that? I know this. <laughs> I know. No, 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 give do me you a need to go outside and look at the equipment? No, Ranar. Yes. Yay! What, what who what is GSG? Who do they kind of rep? Brandhouse Inks. <laughs> <laughs> Or house brand inks. <laughs> Equipment wise, or M and R. Oh. <laughs> okay. What What about uh, Ryanet? What? Are, the Rock. They have the Rock. That's the automatic. And then what's their equipment called? Ryanet. Yes, bingo. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> so there's other companies like Brown You're Manufacturing. There's Lawson. There's Anatol. There's Workhorse. Um. Trying to think of who else. Um, I'm sure <laughs> Thank I'm you, JP. <laughs> JP said, "Good job." <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I'm forgetting somebody, but yeah, there, man, there's a lot of them out there. Lawson was one that I had kind of came across uh, within the past year and a half. I'm like, oh, where were where have these guys been? I don't know if it's because I didn't see them at the ISS show, but I came across them because they had those semi-automatics, but. Uh, anyhow, <laughs> what does what does McB sell? What what uh, products? Equipment wise. Equipment wise. Yeah. M and R. No. Why are you doing this to me? Workhorse. Yep. <laughs> Workhorse. Yeah. However, anyways, um, so is there there any more <laughs> questions? I hate you so much. <laughs> <laughs> no, there are no more questions. Everyone's just fascinated with like the fact that I'm pretending to be an authority that, and know what I'm fucking doing. <laughs> that uh, you're being quizzed on equipment. Okay, so th this is um, the quiz Shannon uh, time. Okay, so what what meshes are there when it comes to screens? One eighty 
205, 250, 305, something, 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 something. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you doing this? This is so embarrassing. <laughs> you know, okay. when I'm on the phone, that... I at least can pretend I know what I'm doing. <laughs> well, you do know. You know what you're talking about as far as the colors go and all that and how the process works. It, it's not really pertinent that you know those details. However, I, I do kind of feel like you need to... I'm going to I'm going to teach you some more, Shannon. I'm going to teach you some more. <laughs> just mess with you. <laughs> um, okay. So let's go back and take a Sherwin look at Sherwin Alberto just, wants to know if he can email you with some questions. Can you you email me? Yeah, sure. Go ahead, email me. Um I, I try to get around to emails as quickly as I can. However, if it takes me 24 hours to get around to it don't think i'm i'm ignoring you because tomorrow even after once we're finished with this live stream we're gonna go out there and do some printing and tomorrow i'll probably be away from the computer for the most part aside from when i wake up in the morning i like to just check a few things just kind of wrap my mind around either the day or i might have to do some mock-ups or I might check to see if there's any questions on YouTube as well and see how things are going on there. Um, but yeah, far away. Far away, uh, Sherwin. And I'll, I'll do my best to help out. I, I know I've helped uh, Jonathan quite a bit. I tried to answer as many questions as he can send over. And then uh, Jaime. There, there's a few other people that that have questions regularly and I, I try to help out as much as I can but you know like I said sometimes finding the time for all this stuff is really difficult you know what we'd have more time if we had one of those um automatic presses subtle <laughs> I'm just kidding. no we'd probably we'd still be busy I, uh, at that point I'd just be making sure that thing was constantly spinning the as much as possible wow it's lining nine up in the morning those in the philippines what's that it's nine in the morning in the philippines That's oh wow saying. well yeah the philippines aren't uh too far away from japan i know that oh philippines Fili filipinos are part japanese and um they, i i forget what the but yeah that's uh i, I forget what the the, the language is called uh, what's the language called, uh, Sherwin? I, I do know I've had some hollow hollow. I can tell you what that is. I've, I've had some Filipino food and I must say it's quite, it's delicious. It's, their egg rolls are tiny. <laughs> They're so good. Like you, Shannon, you wouldn't be a fan. Kind of like you like the pupusas. Remember the pupusas? Uh, Panda brought in some pupusas, and you're like, these are great. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, little Jimmy wants to know if you think Puff Ink will ever make a comeback. Uh, I didn't know it went away. I know it, it was kind of like a, a fad and whatnot. Really, I think what you need to do if you're that into puff is just go out and sell it and, and or have some examples to show to to your clients like one of the things we do i mean is uh we have a lot of spot process uh, examples and so because we have that and we can do it um uh, fairly well They're decent fair to strong strongly i'd say but there by the way, I'm putting out a uh, a fail video, a fail compilation of bad spot process foil. <laughs> it it might seem like every single time I get on press, we just absolutely nail it, but it's not the case. But yeah, just have some examples, and if if that's uh, what you're into is is puff, then you know show your clients it and and kind of sell them. Hey, it's only. 50 cents more dollar more whatever it is you charge per shirt to do puff then i mean you might be able to sell them on it so night uproar see you later uproar yep. peace out your peace out man <laughs> that's disgusting
Sorry. Sorry to our, our lady viewers out there. And I apologize to Shannon in the shop now. That was... Um, was that an inappropriate yeah. piece of... Yeah. <laughs> you know, my mother watches this. <laughs> Hi, Mom. I love you, Mom. That's just... Um, Never mind. I'm not even going to explain that. I think it's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. But it's just, it sounds funny. It's, <laughs> it's something our, uh, when I was younger, we, we'd say. Cause it, anyways, yeah, it's a, it's a guy talk. Sorry. Uh, let me keep this uh, not. <laughs> keep us monetized, please. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not going to get us demonetized. But anyhow. See you later, JP. Wait, no. He was saying goodnight to Uproar. Oh, okay. He has, he has a question. He's sorry, like, is there a difference sorry, between sorry. squeegees? Like good ones, bad ones? Uh, Brand-wise? I, I would say that I, I've come across squeegees. I don't like the ones that are coated. I like the ones that are just the, the plain wood that doesn't have any coating on them. And... Because I found the ones that that have the coating on them, when you use the the um, ink remover on it, it happens to get on the handle, then it gets all sticky, like starts to deteriorate the um, the coating on the handle. And I for, I forgot who I had bought the squeegees from, but I remember thinking to myself, "God, I hate this coating on the squeegee. It's completely gone now because I've power washed the crap out of the handle to get rid of it." Well, that and the ink on it. <laughs> it, <I don't> know. <laughs> it, it might seem silly, but um, we really have about uh, the, the full-size squeegees that are 14-inch. I think we have maybe 10 or a dozen. We don't have that many. I've been going strong. You can tell those things are a good... Five years old now. Oh, by the way, our uh, one year anniversary, at least the, the anniversary when I got the DBA was October 18th. The one I year? Was, no, five year. You what did I one. say? Did I say one year? Mm -hmm. I mean, uh, five year. Excuse me, five year. Uh, it's been a long day. But yeah, five year anniversary was this past uh October the 18th. I forget what day that was. All I know is that it was the 18th and we went. It was also, it's also my brother's birthday. So we went, we took Panda with us. And we had a, a few drinks. We had a little bit of a celebration. <laughs> Panda came in at like 8 o'clock. I mean, 8 p.m. Came in um, and I was like, hey, let's go meet up with Josh. It's his 40th birthday. Thanks, Liberty. It was, his, it was his 40th birthday, but I'm also like, it's five years. It's been five years since uh, getting the DBA. I was like, let's go celebrate. And that was an interesting night. Welcome to the family, with, Panda. With, with uh, <laughs> family arguing a little bit and whatnot, but it was fun. <laughs> there were some yeah, hurtful words weird. tossed around, not by me, but... Uh, by uh, moms and stepmoms and stuff, and that was. Um, I just think it's a mistake to put those two at the same table. That was a hoot. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't know what the thinking was there, but. <laughs> hey, Jurassic. Hey, what's up, Jurassic? You've got four <laughs> minutes, and then bye, Jurassic. <laughs> yeah, we we um, you know, we, we can hang out a little bit longer than that, but I I think uh, unless anybody has a, a question. Anything we can try and help out with. Um, I mean, we don't have the, the answers to every single question, but we, we still we really, have I don't questions. have the answers to a lot of we, it. <laughs> we have questions ourselves. It, yeah, it's, it's funny because it's like the, the laser printer thing. I'm like, oh, 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 yeah, oh. I know you, you can use a laser printer with vellum and all that. And however, I, I don't know, or even clear film, but my experience with laser printers is... Uh, aside from printing out work orders in the office, that's about it. Um, most people I know they they use the inkjet printer. So, um, and then you got the the bigger guys that have direct the screen, or some of that skip it completely and or direct the garment. <laughs> so, but 
So I I think we're gonna wrap this one up a little early tonight. So we got a, a lot to do, and um, I'm yeah. already starting to feel burnt out from the day. But we still have more to do, and we um, got to fix a bad situation. Yeah, we <laughs> yeah we do. Yeah, did you record the design that you posted on Instagram yesterday? Yes, actually, I did. That we posted the. The spot process. The the yeah, I actually did, and then I, I took a close up video of it. So I'll, I'll post that. Keep an eye out for that tomorrow because that was something I was uh, gonna try and work on over the weekend. But and you'll actually see in the video. We had the kids here. We had to bring them up to the shop and get some work done. So I, I tried to record as much of that as possible. Uh, Scarlet, our youngest one, was trying to throw t-shirts onto the dryer that are like shirts that are, are just um, test print shirts. And so it was a little distracting. It was hard to record. If you listen but closely, you can hear them screaming at each other. <laughs> well, I could see her feet in the video. She's like walking <laughs> back and forth and she just has her shirt and a diaper on. <laughs> She's cute when she's not being absolutely defiant. <laughs> she is. She's adorable, though, really. So, yeah. yeah. Thanks, GM Prince. I I, <laughs> I, I appreciate that. No, it, it has been a long day. And I, I'm long just... Week. My yeah. eyes are, are tired, to be honest, looking at the uh, the computer screen. Um, And we still got some more stuff to do, so... Got to... Take care of some angry uh, parents. <laughs> yeah. So I, I apologize if, if I'm looking a little little tired today. I'm probably blinking a lot more often than I normally do. You're leaning back a lot more. But I, I'm kind of ready to kick my feet up. But we can't do that immediately. Um, we got some stuff to do. So we appreciate you guys tuning in. And um, let me go ahead and switch this on over to the way. I'm not even... <laughs> yeah, you look tired. I'm not even uh <laughs> it, I'm not even keeping on top of that either. But uh we really do appreciate y'all y'all tuning in and we we do enjoy doing this. It doesn't really matter what we have going on. We're going to continue to put the tutorials out there, come live. One of the things I thought about was just going live and us being able to get work done and, and Shannon uh, just kind of filming what we have going on at the moment. We might do that next time. We're not. I don't know. But thanks for tuning in, guys. If you're new oh, to thanks, the channel, be sure to subscribe. Check out uh, some right. of these other videos and whatnot. And um, what were you saying, Shannon? You got it right. What's that? Pointing. Oh, did I? Uh huh. Did I now? Uh, somewhat. Yeah. Let's see. Yeah, look. Beep. Yeah, it's backwards, which is weird. So it's hard keeping track of that. But anyhow. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. I was just very proud of you because you're always like, I don't know which side it's on. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. As always, uh, you know, if, if you are in the market for screen printing supplies or equipment, use our promo code at catspitscreenprintsupply.com. So that way you can help support this channel. So we can continue to make videos like this. If you in the market for Adobe Photoshop or Illustrator, we have links and whatnot down in the description as well. Be sure to check that out. And even if you, you're going to go and purchase some diapers for your kid or a, a new desk or a, a dresser for your bedroom, click that, expensive. click that link anyways. That's our Amazon link down in the description. And even still, that'll it doesn't cost you anything. You know, it's just a sales commission. But uh, anyways, we're going to get out of here, guys. Until next time, we will see y'all later. Shannon. Oh, Shannon. I was wondering. I was like, yeah. oh. Yeah, sorry, <laughs> Shannon. I just thought I just thought about that. That's my bad. Go ahead with your your um, fun little thing with Bob. You know, I actually didn't come up with one. Uh, <laughs> um. Oh, okay. The Leaning Tower of Pizza. Pizza, not pizza. Mm, pizza. Pizza. No, pizza. The Leaning Tower of Pizza. <laughs> pizza. Now you made me do it. Leans 
more, leans one centimeter more every 20 years. Whoa. Yeah. Centimeter? Not one like centimeter. millimeter? One centimeter every will 20 it, years. Will it eventually just fall over? Yes. Nice. Huh. Okay, so there you have it. We're getting out of here. We'll see y'all later. Bye, guys. <laughs> I want to see it fall over.